All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I go about painting complicated subjects. All right, welcome to Paint Coach. My name is Chris Fornatero, and I'm here to help simplify oil painting so that you can get better faster. Before I get into the video, I'm just going to remind you, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out any of my courses or tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. So a lot of people would look at this picture of grapes and get very intimidated to paint it. You know, they'd be thinking, oh, there's so many grapes and so many different shades of reds and, and highlights, and they just get really overwhelmed. So I'm going to walk you through my process of painting these grapes, and hopefully by the end, you'll be able to look at subjects like this and not have a panic attack. Now, if you've seen some of my videos, you've probably heard me talk about working dark to light or big to small but I'm gonna add a new one of those today which is work easy to hard which means start with what you find easiest to get right first so for me it was this dark background I felt pretty confident that I could get that in right right away and not need other parts of the painting to help me dial it in correctly I always say painting is like putting together a puzzle and the more pieces of the puzzle you have the easier it is to solve for the missing pieces. So when you're starting a painting and you have none of the pieces, try and choose one that you think you can get right without any help. I always like getting my darkest dark first because I find it easier and then I can use that as a key to figure out the other values in the painting. Now I'm not gonna go over color mixing in this video. If you struggle with color mixing, I got the color mixing video from my Foundations of Oil Painting course available for free. You can get that from a link in the description below. All right, next, I want to choose a color and value to block out all these grapes. I'm not thinking about individual grapes. I'm thinking of it as just one big shape. And I want to choose a value that's in the middle of the value scale. That way, it will be easy for me to add lights or darks as I go on. And at this stage, my paint is pretty thin. I'm using paint thinner to thin out my paint, which is going to cause this layer to tack up rather quickly. You know, I never wait for any areas to dry really. I might move around the painting and work other areas while another area is getting tacked up. You know, I always get asked that, you know, if I set aside a painting for a day or so to let it fully dry before adding other layers, I don't do that. I like to work a la prima, but I'd be lying if I didn't say I purposely let areas sit for five minutes while I'm working on other areas for the paint to settle and tack up a little bit. Also at these beginning stages, it's very helpful to be loose. You know, it's easier to get tight as you go. I guess I kind of work loose to tight as well. At this point, I'm squinting my eyes and if I lose an edge, you know, if it's hard to make out the edge between where some of these grapes in the shadow end and where the background begins, I paint it that way. I can always go in and define the edge of things more, but starting off loose with softer edges, it's just gonna give a better feel to the painting. I like having the parts of the grapes in the shadows get lost into the darkness. Lost into the darkness. Also at this stage, I like to start kind of forming the overall shape of all the grapes. I'm still not thinking about individual grapes. I'm kind of thinking of them all as one big mass. Kind of if I was going to sculpt this out of clay, first I would sculpt the clay into this one big mass for chiseling out individual grapes. So I want to make sure I get the shadows in the right place in terms of the overall big form. Now it's a matter of picking colors that you see and going through and finding everywhere you see that color. I like to start with the dark accents first so I get this really dark dark and kind of go in and find these little areas that I see that dark color. I'm also using that to carve out individual grapes on the outside edge of the overall mass. Remember, work easy to hard. You know, you don't want to go in there and paint one individual grape until it's complete, then move to another grape, then complete that, and another grape and complete that. You know, try and work big to small. Think about the overall shape. Now in this painting, I chose to do something here that I don't do all the times, but sometimes I find it helpful, which is I'll jump ahead and kind of put in a really light value. You know, I put in this one really light grape to act as a key on the other end of the spectrum. You know, we have the darkest darks, and sometimes if we can throw in one of the brightest brights, it'll help us figure out, you know, what's in the middle 
because we know how far we can go in the darks, now we know how far we can go on the lights. It makes finding everything in between that much easier. You know, a lot of times I'll put it in just as a placeholder and you know, I'll paint it in and paint it out as the painting goes. And by painting in this one light grape, it helps me as I'm painting in the midtones of the grapes because if I go too bright with my midtones, that bright grape's not gonna look bright anymore. So I know if I'm painting, I get to a point where I step back and my bright grape isn't reading as bright and popping out, that means I've gone too bright in my midtones. See, me jumping ahead and putting in this really bright grape is breaking my working dark to light idea in order to work easy to hard. All right, so I wanna continue doing the same process and choose another color that I can find everywhere in the grapes. And I don't wanna choose one that's too big a jump. You know, I wanna take small steps. So I find this red, which isn't a huge jump from what I've got. And I go through and find everywhere I can put that red. I do the same thing with this grayed down purplish light. And you can see now individual grapes are starting to form. And honestly, the painting is pretty much one at this point. You know, I've been painting for just about 30 minutes and the next 15 minutes is just me adjusting what's already there. So this process of working easy to hard applies to any subject that you paint. You know, when you're doing a portrait, start with the big shapes, the big planes of the face, get the big form down correctly. You wanna get all that done first before you start going in and fully sculpting and detailing the eye or the nose or the mouth. Same thing with the landscape. Get the big shapes of flat color together first. Make sure you got a good solid composition. Making sure that the value of your big shapes are dialed in correctly. You wanna get all those big shapes and big colors figured out before you, you know, start painting individual leaves or branches or rocks in a stream. So next time you paint anything, make it easier on yourself and start with what's easy and work to what is hard. All right, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see what I'm painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.